the message for you guys out there, the you entrepreneurs who are out there hustling and then maybe you're struggling a little bit, uh, like me, is uh, whatever you're doing, right? You got to think to yourself, what do I want the end goal to be? What is the result that I want to happen for me to now end up doing this, right? Because what what's happening is you're doing all these things and you're working, right? And and you don't even know necessarily what you're doing, <laughs> right? But you're getting things done and it's awesome. But like you're still just not getting to the end, right? Like I see entrepreneurs all the time when I'm when I'm talking to them about you know how they're starting their business and um, I'll hear somebody say. Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to write a book first, you know, uh, but not for them to sell the book, but for them to have the, the free plus shipping offer on the front end, right? Well, you don't have a business yet. <laughs> so like, it's great that you want to write a book, but you, you can't start with this front end uh, lead magnet before you know what it is you're trying to get them to do at the end, right? When I'm building surveys, right, I see people that are, are using surveys or quizzes or assessments and, you know, they'll, they'll come in and they want to build out and they'll, they'll start thinking about what's the theme uh, or the hook of their survey, right? Or, um, what kind of questions should they be asking? You know, where are they going to send them afterwards? What, what's going to happen? And I'll tell you guys a little secret, right? As I build out my framework, my process, and I start thinking about what I do and the results that I've gotten, by, by using surveys and how I start every single survey that I ever built. And it's a little secret, but I'm going to tell just you guys, which is I always ask myself, well, what is the goal of the survey? What do I want them to do? Do I want to drive a phone call to an application so that somebody can sign up for something that's a $10,000 product? Or am I looking to get somebody to sign up for uh, a challenge or buy a, a guide, right, where they're going to do it online versus um, if somebody's going to, you know, put their phone number in um, and then I want to get them into some uh, SMS sequence of events that is going to be sent to the users over a period of 10 days. Whatever that goal is, right? That's the, the goal of what I want to accomplish when I get to the end. So I'm working backwards of how do I get them there? And that helps me with all of the things in front of what I'm going to build to make it relatable to what the end goal is. So guys, my message for you, right? Is if you're, if you're struggling, if you're not getting what you want, if you're not in the place where you want it, or, you know, if I ask you, you know, how is your business where, you know, it's great, you know, it's good. I'm working on, on, on this, but, you know, I'm not really there yet. You guys got to just stop and think about what is it that you want? What is it that you're looking to get at the end of whatever it is you're doing? What is it that your movie looks like when it's over? And you're going to surprise yourself because if you start to look at the end game and then you start to work in reverse, right? You're starting to rewind your movie. You're going to start to be able to identify what needs to happen to get there. And then you can then look at what you've been doing and maybe you realize, man, you know, it's great that I'm doing that, but it's not going to get me to where I want to be, right? And the thing is, is you know how your movie ends. You know what you want. You just have to work in reverse. 